Hello everyone, Duke here with part six of this Jutes campaign, Total War Attila. And we are still perched high in the northern climes of Europe as we try and wait out the storm going on uh, in Central Europe. But I say storm, it's sort of a mixed bag really. I mean, we've got the Huns, not them, they're around, but they're not doing an awful lot of raising. It's, but there's an Alamans and Geats Renaissance going on across Europe, who between them I believe they have about 18 pro, uh, regions, uh, 11 for elements, and Geats have 20, 20 regions between them, that's, Welcome, friend. that's quite the block, and that's just two factions, <laughs> so we're going to have to come up with a kind of a, well, I've mentioned before about a possible plan for expansion will come far later. But if it did, it would come first and got this scans. I think we need to get this province under control because while our neighbours control these regions, it's fairly easy for them to jump over to us. But um, if we were to control Gothic Scanza, that would be the entire Baltic Sea under our control, which would be fantastic. Uh, and a new resource in Salt, which they own here. So and I think any hammer stroke so to speak would come here first in this, I'll take the city first but that's way in the future I keep I keep saying that and I keep following up with it's in the future but it's true I, I can't really do too much about that right now because we need to build up our economy a bit get some research make sure that we're ready to go to war I'd like the Huns to hollow out you a bit more if I'm quite honest it's weird to support the Huns but I kind of am <laughs> I kind of do want them to do well here because it leaves open a vast suite of land for us to fill in so, even if they just raise one of the Burgundian towns, that would make me feel a lot better. Uh, what might happen in time is I might build up this navy to have uh, a lot more of these artillery ships and then just bombard these long term until the garrisons go down and then move in. That's one option. Same with this one over here. Well, it would be this one first, wouldn't it? So I'd do that one first. Uh, so, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Right. But I don't think there's too much more to do here. What are we researching at present? We're at Tolls and Customs, that's right, because we want to get the Civic. If we do this, we complete a mission to research Tolls and Customs, and we get a 20% Civic research bonus, and we use that to research Raw Harold. So, yes, I think that's right. And, of course, I remember now, we're building up toward a food market, I think, isn't it? Or, same thing, trade, trade depot, that's what I meant. Uh, yeah, in Hrefter's Holt. So we have that going for us uh, in terms of Hrefna's whole our it's not our actual capital, our capital is always our starting place, which is uh, Alibu, I think it is, on Jutland. But our spiritual capital is in Hrefna's whole, which is arguably as secure as it gets in this game. Um, it's so hard to reach it by sea and so hard to reach it by land. Yeah, you have to, we, so that's why it, we were very fortunate to be able to get it when we did. They left it completely undefended and we were only um, not even one turn worth of sailing, we got it on the same turn. Which was remarkably fortunate for us, I think, because otherwise we've really been hemmed in by a very powerful neighbour. Uh, but the pieces are moving all over Europe at the moment. Constructed building in the following chain farms. Oh, so they succeeded. I don't remember doing it. Maybe I did it in. Oh, I've obviously done it somewhere. Um, oh, this must be a mission I did last episode. What was it? Trading with the enemy. You have drowned the man in the wine for which you thirst. A just excuse for trading with the enemy. The elders are pleased, and your people know that those who betray you can expect no mercy. Contentment. Three turns of plus five. Fantastic. I'll take that. Everywhere's pretty content, I must say. Everyone's fully content. I mean, everyone's happy as Larry. So, if they're happy, I'm happy. Alright, we've met Africa for the first time. Uh, can we take advantage of that? Mm, they are at war with people we like, so Greetings, my friend. it's a risky move. Because if we trade with an enemy of our ally, our ally, well, I say our ally, our closer friend, if we trade with one of their enemies, we'll get a penalty for that. We've got to play the game. Literally, play the game. <laughs> So, do we go for a bit of squalor and a bit of... No, I don't think we should. 
See, this area is going to be insecure for a long time. It won't ever be able to be self-sustaining because the military presence is what is keeping this place happy. If the army moves out, this place becomes uh, unsettled. It, military presence is 22, and the change return is plus 10, so we'd be at minus 12 a turn if the army moved out. So there's no point, now. we don't need to upgrade the gems anyway, it's fine. We, as long as we've got some gems, that's fine. That is what is going to allow us, one day if we need it, to get a amber trader, an amber trader, which is the best market in the game. So, not just in Hefner's Hole, but anywhere. As long as we've got gems, we can build that anywhere, in any city. So, worth hanging on to. It's very tempting in some ways to well, first we need a spy, but I'd like to go over a little nosy at Pautesca. Or how it's, oh, it's under siege. <gasps> you don't think. It just might be. That would be so good. Okay, for, okay. so it's two things. If that got raised by the Huns, yay for us, we could move in and take it. The only thing is, if we move in and take it, well, we're next on the firing line. We're next on the chopping block. Um, but... Yeah, they're only at war with the, well, the, the Gepids, who I... Um, I don't think it's the Gepids, I think it's the Huns. I really do. I don't know where the Gepids are and who they are, but I, I just think it's the Huns. Whoever it is, I hope they win, and I hope they raise that. Because as well, if that's raised, at least, you know, that's this area completely secure. And, yeah, it, it is good for us. That is good for us. That's fine. Um, our public official stance is we deplore the Huns and everything they stand for. Uh, but behind closed doors, we love them, and we want them to do very well. Uh, is there any point? Is, let's, how much wood are we exporting? And producing 40, exporting 87%. So making more, won't, we won't get any more for selling it. So you see that resource production down there at the bottom left, 40 timber. That is, so at the moment, that's all the timber we're producing, but that will go toward the gross number of that resource that we're making. And you can... As, with as many trade partners you have, you know you can trade up to the max you produce. And we are selling, we're exporting everything and have some spare. So there's no point in my mind anyway upgrading it more. And extra fifteen percent from industrial buildings is pointless because we don't have any industrial buildings there. So uh, yeah, I'm just dotting my eyes and crossing my T's. I don't think there's any more to do here. I'm building up an army slowly there, and I want to get a navy built here. Um, yeah, there's not too much more to do. Got this Scanza. Seems to be having a lot of attrition problems. Sucks to be them. <laughs> so. Yeah, let's hope that the Venedians do fall. So it would be good to march across and actually take that city as well. It absolutely would. Just, of course, conscious of the fact that if it is the Huns that are doing all the uh, work there. You know, they can, they can just as easily go for us when we move. But it is a walled city. If we can get that walled and repaired and have a full stack in it, I'd say we have a pretty decent chance. Ooh, that's interesting as well. I find when it hovers on the Huns, you can bet your bottoms this Dursey that they're raising something. The entire animation always plays out. I reckon they're raising something. The chicken in. I, I, I can never remember the names of those cities way out there, but the Vinita one. <laughs> We'll check it out. Ooh, right, I'm not doing too well here. I think they tried to counter attack on Carthago. Got pushed back by the uh, Gaetulians, I think they are. Huzzah! Look at that! Is that them dead? Can they migrate? The Slavic factions. Um, good spring, bad spring. <laughs> okay. Lord giveth, we'll take it away. Bad spring, negative growth, not a problem. Uh, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Uh, yeah, okay, we'll keep building up the food store. Let's get an extra bit of food and a bit of money. So we're doing this, I don't even remember, because one, it gives us some spies, which is fantastic. 
and it's a better food and money maker than actually their livestock herd. I'm keeping one because it lets us recruit a certain kind of unit and gives us horse breeding you know, stuff. But I don't think we need more than that. This is just such an infertile area. In fact, let me show you. Because we've had a bit of climate change. Look at this, we're meagre. We're one below, or one above, depending on your point of view. One um, step above infertile, which is Germano 7, Sarmatia. This part of the map is incredibly infertile. It's facts. Look at this. We're in the most second most infertile part of the map, apart from the actual desert in Sahara. So we can't rely on those kinds of buildings. But we're fortunate we have fishing jetties. And lots of them. We even have Hrefnefs so salt if <laughs> in a pinch, if we need to convert that. Which we don't. We're very sufficient there. And we're gonna upgrade this to get an extra twenty food. Because when we upgrade this, hopefully, you know, we will be able to at some point. Uh that's going to cost us an extra 50 food. But I am happy to pay that because it unlocks some neat recruitment, a lot more wealth, and even better public order bonus. Um, but three more squalor, I think we can take that, yeah. So I'm absolutely happy to sacrifice a bit of food for that. Um, I will upgrade this. There's no harm in it. It's There's absolutely no negatives to upgrading sanitation buildings in this faction, it seems. So I'm going to keep doing it. And oh, that's fantastic. Oh, yeah, let's check the uh, mini ports. Let's see if they're still alive. They are, but oh, look at this. They don't own everything all the way down there. No, all the hunting again. It really is. I'm even curious who. You know, so. Do we do it? Oh, I think. Like, how on earth could I possibly resist this? That is just such a tempting topic. I know, it's a wall city. Oh, it's so... Yeah, it's so tempting. I feel crazy not to, I feel crazy not to do it. It's not even a great army, it's a bit... If it did... No, it's actually quite a good army. <laughs> but... Well, even better, yeah, it's a good army. I think it has a good chance of holding out against the Huns if they're attacking the walls. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Decisions. It just seems so risky because that is right in the belly of the beast where the huns spawn. Was it? I don't know where they spawn. It is just all around here. Ooh. Game, you are tempting me. It would give us a city, obviously, <laughs> as I keep saying, which will give us income. And more income means funding more regions. I find regions in this game can, if you upgrade them and build them right, each region becomes incredibly more wealthy than any regions really in like Rome 2. I find engines are more powerful in this game, but they require a lot more balancing. Basically it's more management but more reward is, I guess, one way of putting it. Um, the only thing is at the moment, of course, is we are going to have to march the snow. I think it's always snow around here. Uh, we could march 50% and then fortify, but we're not going to get very far. Mind you, if we do this, okay, so I'm going to get rid of the temperature loss, then fortify, we'll replenish again. Okay, let's just do that. Maybe in the summer things will melt a bit and we can run a bit faster. I don't know, I haven't really kept an eye on it. I don't know if it's permanently snowy. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's too much to do here. I can't believe we're making wood and gems. And yet, no one wants to trade. Even says moderate, keeps teasing me with that. Maybe if we offer them a little something. How about 900? You drive a hard bargain. I. how about I whet your appetite with a, ooh, 1,000, four figure offer. <sighs> Think that we get marble, which would be quite nice. Uh, oops, too high. Uh, I don't think it's moderate. I think they're lying to me. But you can see, as we move the army out now, you can see this. 
you know, the public order is bad. That's why I want to take another region, actually, especially a city. A city is the best one because that has a good chance of helping us stabilise the public order, making this area more stable. This place will never, ever, ever, ever be stable enough for us to leave it undefended on its own. It needs uh, more support in the region. Okay, let's uh, end the turn. Let's see how we go. I think the pick the picks always do very well because they're so well defended and they always seem to get on like a house on fire in the games I've played that they you know they are basically undisturbed in their home regions and just expand the entire west side of the map down like France and Spain. Yeah. I don't think they can do badly. <laughs> I think they, they're destined to do very well. Roman's not doing well anymore. Well, it never was doing well, but it's suddenly struggling. I think Spain's totally fallen now to the picks of all people. Celts. Right. Uh, so, once we're to split the religion to the majority of this region, that's not likely to happen in how many turns? Six. Yeah, it's not happening. Oh, it's actually there's no time on it. That's that's the reward. Well, if it happens, it happens. No, it's, it's sort of a natural increase. It's not sort of a natural osmosis. We're not doing anything actively to. to oh, look, it's not snow. Right, let's let's run then. Here we go. Let's do what, as much moving as we can here. Oh, oh, oh! I can't believe I forgot. I'm so stupid. Uh, I wanted to get a spy. We can get two actually. Um, yeah, let's get you. Where should we send you? It won't hurt us have someone be our eyes and ears beyond the sea here. And we'll get another one. Why don't we send you? Yes. Um, maybe it'd be good to have you come this way. So just come over here. Just come over here. <laughs> and it's going to be a bit of a trek, but it'd be good to have someone scout out this area for us. Um, okay. Making our way toward holding customs. Once we get this, we get 5% wealth in commercial buildings, which is nice in itself, and we'll get access to the Umber Trader. Uh, no, the Fairground. Which I desperately want. That's a lot of money and quite a good food production, but not much negatives. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. So, we're still friends with the Burgundians, which is good. I think if anyone we need to be friends with for now is the Burgundians. Can we try to Greetings, friend. We will speak. I truly have no idea why. We are seen as steadfast now, so we're not, we're not exactly the bad guys here. I don't know why. Yeah, it could be a cultural thing. No, we're, we're even culturally quite similar. I don't know. I find the Franks, yeah, he's reliable and diff nothing saying he's xenophobic or anything like that. Yeah, the only person we can trade with is the Jews. Hey! What do you know? We, we got it. of your great wisdom. And with this Look generous that. offer, we have... Didn't have to pay. Getting 419 a turn for it. That's great. We're getting that sweet marble. And gem. Do they make gems? No. So it's a good thing we're making them. But they are making marble, it seems. And we get a little nosy all the way down here. Oh, this is it's quite cool. The people we're doing the most business with is the... Uh, Desert factions across the North African <laughs> region. Beautiful. Okay. Wow. 
has a lot of power. Ah. Well played. This is not good. Uh, we might have to pay everything we've got. Oh, that's so... That is... That is a f fantastic move by the elements there. Right, so they've gone the long way. That was their plan all along. I can't... My goodness me, the AI in this game is devious. We have to pay through the nose to get peace. Or we're going to have to turn back. But we can't fight that army. It's too strong with our army we have. Oh, I can't believe I was so stupid. I fell for that hook. I fell for that hook by a sinker. I really am so gullible. But everyone saw that one coming except me. We'll see what we can do. The mediums are now Latin Christian. <laughs> Bad trade, I think. Alright, elements. Let's try and get some peace. I am sure you have many pleasantries for me, but please don't bother. Talk of meat, not honey. Alright, this isn't good. At all. Alright. Uh, we could run here, mark force march and bait them to attack us instead. But that's pretty stupid. Uh, we could also take the city and return to take theirs. But if we take the city, we'll be on down a half strength with a really rubble city, and if they turn around to fire us, we'll get crushed. I am in awe of the genius of that move. They are nowhere near there, and they knew exactly when we left it undefended. I don't know how they figured that out, but they must have... They've read my mind like a book. Because, yeah, they're down here. I think that's as close as they are down in Herkinia. And they figured out exactly when we were... That is so clever. So clever. Um, oh, dear. I don't know what to do. That I'm actually stuck. I don't know what to do. I suppose we could commit to doing that. If we lose this for now, we lose it. That's the way it goes. And Yeah, I think we accept that loss. We accept it. I think that's what we do. We accept that loss. We can rebuild. We can be taking it once one day. But I think taking this. Because I have to march with the snow to get to us from here. So Ready for orders. Right, let's build this up. Oh, no hunts. Very nice. Uh, Garrison here is okay. It won't last, but it's fine. Might do some damage. That's a great general as well. Two great generals. My goodness me, the elements are destined for greatness in this campaign. They've got everything going for them. Got to respect it. Got to respect it. Why don't we think about... Right, we're going to lose how much income that turn from this place. 809, okay, that's, that's better, but we can take that. So we're going to go down to about 5,600, and these are too much for me. We can get quite a few more of these, it's fine. Because um, what I might do is I might build this navy up, and use that to help us take it, because it's a coastal town. So... Some might say overkill. I say not enough kill. And should I get a few of these? It's only got 72 people, it's not great. I think I'd rather just bombard people and let my armies do the fighting. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay, we'll see if that pays off. How many turns? Four, okay, four turns. Wow, the elements really, really, really hate... I don't know what we did, but one of our diplomatic missions, diplomatic actions, at some point in the campaign, seriously offended these guys, and they've really got it in for us now. Uh, have you met Are you brave or foolish? I wonder if we get a non-aggression pack to these guys.
Wow, they really don't like us. Um, oh, well, you're under siege. I'm not. Uh, so, on your head be it, guys. They fall. That's them. Bastanians. Oh, they're doing well. Greetings! We will talk. Well, I'm not a question about these guys because these guys seem pretty powerful. I'd rather not have a front against them. Ah, I know it's. I know they. I know they want it. I feel it. I feel it. Incremental increase until finally they accept. Okay, right. So overall, not a bad turn. We're going to lose the Gem City, but at the same time, it's not something we can't take back. They're far away from support, so yeah, it's fine. Fortunately, we've got our governor out of there as well. The governor was in that town that we we're about to lose, but um, since we've taken the city, he's now moved to the city. So we saved the governor. Good thing as well is the elements will have no chance of sending over to take Scanza. So we're safe there. Yep, here it comes. A lot of hurlers, I'm seeing. Right. If I were, again, if I was cheesing this, I'd probably put on the timer and try and play out the timer, but it's, that's too cheesy. We can't do that. What you can do is try and kill their generals. I think Germanic Speedman are said to be some of the best spears in the game. I think I've read. So, yeah, they've only got one army full of them. We've got one cavalry unit. I'll be able to use that to take some of these herders out. Uh, okay, oh, here we go. If they raise it, that would really hurt my feelings. All that time we put in building it up. But, can't help that. I suppose in a way, if we kept an army here, I think the army would have been completely overwhelmed. It's too... Two armies is just devastatingly huge. I can't do anything about that. Oh no, they do have cavalry. I think they just spawned a unit. I didn't see that on the um cheeky. Don't know where they got that from. Okay, what's the cinch? Coming in from this side. Oh no, they've split their army. Okay. Um oh, here's a defensive area. Yeah. Quite a defensive map. Looks like the only way up into the city centre is here, so we want to guard this because if they move up and take that, they'll win anyway. So, yeah, and maybe if we land the ships as close to here as possible, so I'll put them. Oh, it's got to be here, fine. Right. Uh, yeah, I'll put them here and they'll sail up that way. Okay. Some hurlers. And 
thought it bad, you're not much use, but we'll put you yeah, behind here. Right. Let's go. Right, you guys land, please. Reinforcements! More for us to kill! But our tower here to help us. Yeah. Oh, our towers are so inaccurate. <laughs> any kills we are losing our advantage! Okay. These guys have landed. Oh, they look proper Viking even though. I'm sure that's a term. Proper Viking. Um, the enemy has been spotted. I know. I spotted them. Look at these guys there. Actually, they might be able to fire over into if they try and destroy this barricade. They might be able to fire over their heads. Yeah, I feel like our uh, arrow towers aren't as effective as their ones when they have them. I guess that's very hard for the they do have. Okay. Right, that's it. Let's destroy as many of these guys as we can. Yeah, that's it. Get packing. Get out of it. How these guys can get. I've taken out quite a lot of that cavalry. It's good. General's on attack. Ah, the Hellas. Our ambush troops have been detected. Okay, I'm not fighting those guys in battle. We'll lose that. Okay, just accept the arrow tower's gone. Right, let's get the class back. I wish these guys had like a shield. The arrow, their slingers uh, a lot of damage to us actually. More than I had expected. So I might just charge into those guys before the battle ends. I was hoping to form a bit of a line here and swing the air source around, but I don't think we're going to have time. Let's charge on these hurdles. Oh, wow, that was quick. I thought they were over here. <laughs> Move quick. Oh, I know. Let's use these guys. Gotta make this easy for them. Ah, oh, bugger. We got in. We just got um, ambushed. Smart. Yeah, that was smart. The Alamans are playing an exceptional campaign so far. Their battles, they're fighting well. Completely hoodwinked us here with a ruse. I never expected them to go for this town. I don't believe the people saying that they would either. <laughs> I was like, nah, we'll be fine. But 
They were right. I bow to your judgment. Let's just get everyone in. Oh good, their axes are going this way. I was going to say it, ra it rallied just in time to go attack our <laughs> cavalry. But. Come on. Right, let's go hit these guys in the rear before those slingers kill us. Slingers, but more of a fight than you men. Right. Butcher's Bill killed just shy of 2,000 men, they'll get a few casualties back, but make them sweat for it. The downside is they're going to be they're going to have no problems occupying it because it's Germanic pagan. There's no culture to clash or anything. Enemy forces have destroyed an entire unit. No, this is it. The men are wavering. All right, not too bad. Yeah, it looks like we did quite a bit of damage to a lot of their units there. And I doubt they'll be able to replenish those so easily. It's not exactly a military town. Yeah, 1,800 men. Not more than we did. Yeah, so definitely lots of units. You can see their meters has gone down. Oh, they just sacked it. Rude. How rude. You swine. Why don't you just take it? <laughs> I suppose now I've got to do the public order penalty. That's annoying. Ugh. I've come to terms with them taking it, but I haven't come to terms with them raiding it yet. I haven't thought about that. Oh, if we pay off enough quickly, who knows? Maybe we'll... Um, get another garrison in time for another battle, and we can just sort of whittle them down bit by bit. Okay, so they're going to get a bit of winter attrition now as well, which is quite funny. Uh, I don't doesn't look like they're immune. Right, let's uh, pair that, that. Yeah, pair everything. It's alright, we don't have much use for money elsewhere. So, oops. Um, I not. Okay, yeah, if we're going to leave one thing, I'll leave the gem pond. How exactly you break a pond? I don't know, but we did. I suppose the one thing I could have done last turn is get some marks in there. That was silly. I should have done that. I don't have the money now, but... Ah, oh, that's silly. Why didn't I do that? Then I am so stupid. At the same time, I don't think they... So this army's too far away, I think, to support. 
um, and miss something, I just don't think they're going to try again. What they might be doing is swinging all the way around here to come and have a fight with us in the scans up. Hopefully they don't have any trees with um, near the other. Hopefully they don't have the military access pack. That would break my heart. Right. I don't really have much use for this champion skills, but I'll just level them up a bit there. This army's recovering nicely, just in case they swing by this way. If we can get this settlement built up just in time, then we won't have a destruction penalty in the battle. So a bit, bit tense at the moment. Okay, what else? Not much else to do. In a pinch. How many, can we, how many things can we make in one turn? Well, don't have the money, but we can certainly make three, at least. So, yeah, I'm just thinking if those guys swung by here. But they'd really annoy their neighbours if they went through here to do it. So, right, well, we'll just have to see. That's why we have spies. Who I've got to move. But yeah, I'm going to use the... Ooh, Langabart. I'm going to use that spy there to keep an eye on the elements if they go this way and we've got the other spy headed up in case they come back, which I think they will. Yep, yeah, they're coming again. Okay. I'm surprised. Uh, I am surprised. Um, I shouldn't have spent all that money, should I? I'm making some really boneheaded decisions here. I've just wasted an entire turn, turns money. This is what... Another, the, the elements are playing so well. They knew I'd spend all that money to rebear the buildings, and now they're just turning around so I lose the money. It's so clever. I'm, I'm playing exactly, exactly as they want me to. Gosh, this AI is next level. Have some devastation as well, so we're going to have some penalties from the buildings being damaged. How much? Minus eight morale, minus eight attack. Yeah, it's not looking good. Eesh. Yeah, this is. I'm really not doing very well here. I'm making some silly decisions. I'm sort of thinking impulsively. I need to think a bit more long term, I think. Uh, you guys, yeah, if you come do the same thing again, come here. You go there. Our settlement stands, but much has been destroyed. You don't say. Well, I'm going to use that cavalry to try and take out some of those hurler units. And I'll have these guys sort of ready here to come running up that way. You know what I should have done? Should have hired Mercs. Why am I... That's another decision. Uh, I'm just playing this so silly. We'll bounce back. But, oh, just, this could have, a lot of this could have gone better if I just thought a bit more wisely. But then again, if I play wisely, it's not very exciting. I guess it's that. Alright, go charge that unit. These guys should hopefully get a number of kills on most channels. Oh, they're going the wrong way. <laughs> okay. what I expected. I can't really tell the terrain of this battlefield from my farm. Ah, terrain's 
swap against us. Yeah. Barricade's giving us some shelter. Our general's about to die. Uh, let's... Oh, he's off. Let's turn around so we don't get the shield bonus. These guys might get some kills on that. I'm loath to get into melee because we've got the penalty for melee. But I feel confident going against these dicky units. So. Just trying to see what we can realistically kill. Them. If they raid again, that's going to be annoying. But also, it will give us just enough time to maybe we'll stand another assault if we get some bugs. Ah, that's the end. <laughs> okay. Well, how many would it be? About 200? Yeah, 243. Okay, so we made them lose more men than we did. I reckon they might take it this time. That would be nuts not to occupy. Oh. Ah, oh, no. Smart. They are coming after the city. This is not good. Unless we fight them out in the open field, I suppose. Because if we fight in the city, we're going to get some penalties for the rubble. Oh, the animals are just 4D chessing this entire campaign. It's a thing of beauty. I'm being completely outperformed. likely won't get much money this turn. We spent a lot trying to repair those buildings, which have now been damaged again. Yeah, that's too expensive to repair now, realistically. These guys, you yeah, know, they didn't get too much winter attrition. Good for them. I wonder if they'll be able to reach in time to support this. Yeah, they would, they'd be able to reach there. 
So I'm thinking about getting some mercs in there, but there's no point if the settlement is horrifically damaged. Yeah. Wish I hadn't built this navy. Right. Let's. Okay, we don't want you, your pants. How about a. Fearless warrior. Raise an army. Maybe not. Now. And yeah, let's hire. Whatever mercs we can afford. Oh, if only we had these guys <laughs> in the last battle, we'd have smoked the elephant. I really am that stupid. Okay, uh, let's get some integrity. Let's get. When we turn to this is repaired too. Okay. They're gonna force march their way down here. So if they do force march their way down here, I will meet them in the open field. That's the best shot we have. Meanwhile here, I think this will be good enough outside the city to at least hold oh, to certainly hold that off. Uh, why are we controlling this against that? We'll see. So that's all our money this turn. That's the uh, we we will we will want to make these if we want to stay in the in the black. Uh, Just want to check there's nothing coming out this way from the ovens. No? Good. Okay. Oh, I thought I did this in the first place. I, I, I'll never know why I forgot to get mercs in the first battle. Or never know. At the same time, I don't think we would have won two whole stacks. Is very hard to fight. Are we slowly delivering a bloody nose to them? Right? Okay. Yeah, what upset them? Religious version. Oh yeah, because they're Latin Christian. They don't like the Gundians either. It's just the fact that they're quite powerful. I don't feel particularly great. The elements are certainly bigger than power. In fact, yeah, surely people hate them. Yeah, great power minus 60, yeah, they're huge, so they're going to get some penalties coming their way. They're not careful. Uh, the governor. Yeah, with that. And, yeah, let's use corruption. That reinforcing army is not anything to really lose our head about apart from the archers. Uh, are these guys good in melee? I don't know. We haven't got any good infantry. We do have a lot of cavalry, so we might have a good chance of sweeping around and taking out a bunch of their archers. Uh, this isn't looking good. At least we didn't spend any money rebuilding it this time. Okay, well, conscious of the links of this episode now, guys, so I'm going to stop it here and kick off the next episode with a battle against the elements, a big one, with this Merc army, see if we can either slow them down or, or yeah, we'll just try and slow them down, really try and hurt them, give them a bloody nose, see if we can take out as many of these hurlers, maybe a general or two, and, yeah, this is their less good army for sure, this has less good Germanic spears. Taking those out, so yeah, it's not terrible. 
it's not a terrible army, we'll have to see. Um, so yeah, two minutes time guys, when we kick off with a dramatic fight against the Alamans, and then we have to try and rescue our economy from all the raiding that they've been doing. So, don't miss any of it guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.